change of button. <laughs> yeah. As you may know, Otto is a medically complex child. If you have caught some of our earlier videos, if you haven't, go back and watch those. Um, he has a feeding tube, G-tube button that we have to change out every four months. So I thought it would be interesting to show what that's like for anybody that's never been around a kid with a G-tube or a person with a feeding tube. Um, and also for those families that have kids that maybe are going to need a G-tube, uh, what that's like. I know it can be a big step to go from the NG tube, which is the one that goes through the nose and down to the stomach, to a G-tube because it requires surgery to put in. Um, it can sometimes be a long-term thing, which can be very scary for people. And I had my hangups and reservations about it as well when we were at that stage and Otto had his NG tube for 16 months so I got really good at changing that which is absolutely awful. Um, the G tube is so much better for anybody that's on the fence about whether to go to that. You know you got to make the best choice for your family but my personal belief is it was way better and we kind of held out for quite a while um, before we decided to make that leap so I'm glad that we did. He has had his G-tube for three years now. We only have to change it out every four months, so I've maybe done it 10 times, maybe 12. Luckily, we've never really had any problems with it. Actually, the first time I had to change out his G-tube button was kind of an emergency uh, change. <laughs> we had been shopping uh, for groceries, which is always an experience because I would have Otto in the stroller, usually he was feeding, and then I would have the cart behind me, and then Willow was somewhere there, and so I would be walking through the store, this giant train of items um, was always interesting. But anyways, we had gone out to the parking lot and I had started unloading the groceries, I was getting Otto into the car, he was hooked up feeding, and I you know, always check to make sure the tube's not caught on anything before I transfer him into the car. And apparently the tube got caught on a strap that was hanging and hooked it as I was lifting him out and the tube and the button just boop, popped right out. <laughs> and he did not make a peep. It didn't bother him one bit. He had no idea except for maybe he might have felt a little tug, I suppose, but uh, he was none the wiser. And Luckily, it was about the time I was needing to change it anyway, so I was like, well, here we go, right in the parking lot, we're gonna do this. Always carry an extra G-tube with you. They come like this. We get the mini one, we've always had the mini one. I really like it, we've never had a reason to change. Anyways, always carry one of these with you at all times, because uh, you just never know when something's gonna go wrong, the tube is gonna, you know, the button's gonna break. Always carry a spare. So right there in the back seat, um, he was in his car seat. I pulled out the spare that we had. I popped it back in, no issue. That was my first experience with changing a G-tube. <laughs> At least I didn't have to pull it out. That's part of the hard part is, is getting it to pull out. You have to kind of put a little little bit of force in it. Not, not a lot. It's not that scary. This video, it's not gonna be a tutorial. It's just gonna be, this is what it is. We're gonna walk through it really quickly and just see what happens. Otto is sitting over here off to the side. Actually, very quietly, very good. He was talking a ton before I started. This is what they come in, little package. We get the mini one. And inside we've got the little package and a little brochure. I've never read this. It's very extended in lots of different languages, but it's there if you need it. And that's pretty much it. I actually, I always just take it out of the box, so in his diaper bag, I always have an extra one in there. 
And out of all of this stuff in the package, I really only need this little tiny button. I don't really use any of this other stuff. I guess I use the little syringe and this lubricating jelly and this teeny tiny little blue thing here at the top. Let's open it up. Been with the NG tube. We mm. had his for 16 months, like I said. So I was getting really good there towards the end where I was able to swaddle him and kind of hold him with one leg and then uh, do it all myself, which made it really easy, especially if um, it but, happened to come mm. out at an inconvenient time where I didn't have a helper and I had to do it myself with an NG tube. I mean, like I said, I've probably changed a G-tube maybe 10, 12 times the entire time he's had it. I probably changed his NG tube at least that many times within the first two weeks, maybe. It was constant. You were constantly putting it in. There towards the end, I was really, really good at placing his stickers in the right spots so it wouldn't come out um, if he happened to throw up or caught it with his finger, you know, if he was itching his nose. That's pretty common with kids. They'll just catch it inadvertently and, and yank it out. Thank you. <coughs> Hello? Oh, yes. Yes, it's almost time. Okay. All right. Okay, thanks. Here he is. Yeah. It's for you. Going to try this I'm not gonna swaddle him I haven't been able to swaddle him for a long time to change out which with the g-tube it's a little bit harder to swaddle it's more of like tying the arms back but he's just too big <laughs> it doesn't work and most of the time he lays there nicely so we'll see what happens we'll see how this goes oh, like I said we've got this little thing open it up um, Yes. We use this little syringe. I like to also have a spare that was from a previous one on hand because we will pull the water out of the balloon first um, so that we can take it out and then we will put the clean water in the new button once we get that one in. Um, I don't really know what that little gauze pad is for, but I just use it as a towel. And we'll use this little lubricating jelly. Mm -hmm. And we will use this. And there's the button. I don't know if you can see that. That's the deflated button down here is where the little balloon will inflate. And that will go into his tummy. So then all you see is that outside. And that's what's in. No big deal. We are going to, uh, right here on this little edge here, this is where the syringe will go with the water. It says that it needs four mils. We will fill um, the syringe up with pint four mils. Pint. And I always like to check the balloon. That is balloon full. That's the full balloon. I like to check it just to make sure everything. Looks like it's not misshapen. Sometimes the misshapen ones will not stay in the tummy very well. I've heard of them getting pulled out using their weirdly shaped. But this one looks good. It's not leaking. So we're going to take the water. Oh, looks good. Alright. I also use this little blue thing. So what that does is it just goes inside the button like that and it kind of makes it sturdier so that when you're putting it in it gives it a little resistance it's not so wobbly and it's it's easier to put in um, so that's what that is so we'll just leave that in there and then the jelly Did that even open oh, it did. so we just stick this in here maybe jelly on it so we're just gonna leave that in there until we're ready to put it in. Now I need auto. All right, buddy. You ready? 
Uh, obviously, I'm not going to turn any music on or TV today, so I hope he cooperates. Um, this is for you guys. <laughs> we have these couch cushions in the camper with us. They actually came off of the original couch that came with the camper. We knew pretty early on we weren't going to have room for the couch. We ended up putting in a small desk for our workspace. And, uh, but we kept the two cushions off of it and we use them all the time. You know, I use them to lay him down if I'm gonna change his diaper, they're easy to clean. And I use them, you know, for stuff like this. Um, we can use them as chairs, we can use them on the couch as a backrest, they just are very versatile. And then we also use them when we travel, we wedge them in between a couple of different things to make sure that stuff doesn't shift when we're traveling. They're awesome. You ready? Tug, tug. All right, can you tell? Mm. Um, All right, sit. Mm. Sit. Oh, you're not going to mess up over. Uh, uh, I'm not going to do any close ups for you. Um, not that there's anything gross, but I don't know. It might weird somebody out. So I'm just going to kind of show you from a distance what it is like. I don't know if he's going to lay down because he wants to touch everything. So we'll see how this goes. All right, come here. Come here. Alright, we flip this around. Here we go. Okay, we're not going. Like I said, we've got to pull the old water out of the old button. Alright, can we done? Alright, there it is. Oh my goodness, your pants are falling down. Oh. <laughs> it's gonna be a fight. Alright, here we go. Here's your phone. <gasps> Book. All right, cool. Yeah. Um. Oh. Oh, oh no. Okay, we're gonna put the syringe in. Yeah. <gasps> this is gonna be a battle. Oh. left in there and it's supposed to be four. So as you can see, over the past four months, a mil and a half has leaked out of his button. We've never had an issue with it coming out, so um, I never get concerned about it. So anyways, that's the old water. We don't want to mistake that for the new water. Okay, now you need to come here. Are you going to sit? Oh my goodness. Hi. Hold that. Hold that. Bye. Hi. Hi. <gasps> <gasps> All right, lay down. Lay down. <gasps> here. Now we've got the button here. And it's still in there, obviously, but we need to get it out. So sometimes you have to put a little bit of force into it. Not a lot, but um, it, you know, it takes a little bit to get it out. Bye. I need you over here. Come here. Come here. Um, it's t 
Mm hmm But I need you over here. You silly. But I need you over here. Have Bring it up. Alright, thank you. Come here. I need you over here. Hi, Otto, stat. Mommy needs you. Come here. Um e oh, oh, oh. Can you lay down for me? Really quick? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Super oh. duper quick. It will only take like a minute. Okay, let's do it. All right, bye. Let's do it. All right, come here. Zoom! All right, we're doing it. All right, so we're gonna take out that button. Look at that, and some nice goo comes out. No. <laughs> As you can see, I didn't have to pull super hard, but it did come out. Come here. Oh. That feel funny? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Ready? Uh -huh. So then I just take uh -huh. a wet wipe. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna tickle your uh -huh. tummy and I'm just gonna wipe. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna wipe. Uh -huh. oh. uh -huh. All right, boom, done. All right. Uh -huh. So now we need to get uh -huh. the new button in. Uh -huh. <gasps> Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C. with me. All done. That's it. All done. So then I'm just going to wipe the excess jelly off. And that's it. That's literally it. I just did it. All done. Boom. Shaka laka. Show them your fresh tube. Done. Boom. New tube. And it's ready to be done. That was it. We're done. We are done, done, done. Uh, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And I think that's about all I was going to say for today. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned a little bit of something. And we'll see you next time. All done. Come say bye. You want to come say bye? You did so good.
Whenever I let him up, he immediately starts attacking all of my equipment. Not have a good go of it. Take, pie, cake, and egg, and no, 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 no. Okay. Oh. <laughs>